All right, hey guys, I'm gonna be comparing the best synthetic uh, insulated sleeping bag and also the best down insulated sleeping bag that I believe to be on the market right now. Um, yeah, the synthetic sleeping bag I'm gonna look at is the Mountain Hardware. This is the Ultra Lamina 15. Um, this retails for about $240 in the regular length. Um, and this is 2012 pricing. Uh, the, the best down sleeping bag is um, the Mountain Western Mountaineering um, Alpinite 20 degree sleeping bag. This retails for about $465 in the regular, um, regular length. Um, the Western Mountaineering bag is very, very similar to the um, Ultralight, which is um, the exact same as the Alpinite, but the Alpinite is about four to five inches wider on the shoulders. Um, it's about a 64 inch shoulder width compared to a 59 for the for the ultralight. Um, so this is uh, both of them completely stuffed. I mean, um, the, the ultra lamina comes with its own compression sack and, um, you know, seems to seems to work fine. Um, you know, stuffing it as much as I can, as tight as I can. I think uh, I think this is as tight as you'll get it. Um, for perspective, let me uh, let me just take a book, for example. This is just a Rough Guides, Lonely Planet Travel Guide or whatever. It's about, you know, a book and a half length and um, maybe a book and a half width as well. Um, so this is definitely reasonably small. The weight is about three pounds. Um, so certainly not too, too heavy. Um, if you are trying to go ultra light though, there is a palpable difference between this synthetic and um, the down one. The down one is, you know, about, I would almost say overall, about half the compression size as the synthetic. Now granted, it, you know, it's about three quarters the, the, or two thirds the, the length or the height of the synthetic, but it's also it's also thinner, so the the width is is less. So overall, I'd say you're almost getting half to to sixty percent of the size of a synthetic in a down. Um, this Western Mountaineering bag did not come with a compression sack. Yeah, it, it comes with a stuff sack, but not something you can compress it real tight like this. So I went ahead and I just got this bag, the Sea to Summit, I think they call it the Event, which is um, you know, completely waterproof. Um, and um, this should protect the bag real well. This compression sack was $30 alone. I got the size small. That's the right size to get if you're getting the Western Mountaineering uh, bag. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a perspective. And the reason why I think uh, I needed to go for the for the down one is just because my tent is a, a Nemo OB two person tent, okay. And um, on, in my backpack, how I'd like to have it is if I put both of these at the bottom, they're about the same height wise. So and then they fill up the bag on the bottom completely, uh, which is which is perfect, which is the to me the most efficient use of the space. Okay, so now I can just stuff everything on top of it. And they're exactly the same same height. With this Mountain Hardware Ultra Lama bag, as good as it is, um, I mean, it takes up the size of both of these, right? So that's gonna be a bit problematic if you're trying to, you know, be the most efficient with your pack size and weight and everything. Um, so, I'll, all in all, even though this Western Mountaineering bag is um, $465 plus another $30 for this uh, compression sack, so overall $500 investment, um, I feel like just the space and efficiency savings and also um, 
now apparent I haven't tried these out in the field yet. I'm gonna be trying the the down one very soon um, in in Patagonia. Um, apparently, it's much more comfortable sleeping in the in the down sleeping bag as well as it's more breathable. Um, yeah, I initially got the synthetic one because I was worried about water water damage or yeah, the down not being as efficient when it's wet, and that's certainly true, but from everything I've read, um, the kinds of wetness that you're going to, in reality, actually experience, which is tent condensation, um, you know, rain when you're hiking, um, you know, it, it seems like the down bag will have no problem because it's not like you're going to immerse the down bag in water or anything, right? I mean, presumably if it's raining outside, you have this, uh, when you're hiking, you have this uh, compression sack that's completely waterproof. Also, you'll have a backpack and a cover for the backpack um, as well if you're smart. And that will basically keep your down bag dry when it's raining. Um, in terms of when you're in the tent, uh, slight condensation and humidity in the air uh, does not seem to uh, significantly impact the performance of, of the down, at least not to ex an extent where it loses its warmth capabilities. I think that's more of an extreme case when you, uh, you, know, you literally got your down bag soaked because you just left it out uncovered while it rained. In that case, maybe the synthetic, the synthetic one would be a better choice, but because of the size weight differential oh yeah this one's about two pounds by the way this western mountaineering versus three pounds for um uh for the mountain hardware ultra lamina um you know i like to i like to almost think of it like as two nights in a fancy hotel for for this western mountaineering bag that's the investment um instead of and that this will last you a lifetime uh, with the proper care as well. Um, instead of a, you know, top of the line synthetic, but in the grand scheme of things, still relatively mediocre compared to a down sleeping bag. Um, the lifespan on on this Western Mountaineering down bag could easily be 10 to 20 years. Um, with this synthetic fill. It feels like the life of that is more in the five year range to 10 max. Um, so all in all, seems like the down one's a, a better buy long term and also even short term, even if you're not doing a whole bunch of hiking, uh, just because if you think about it, it's, a, it's $200, 250 more. Um, so it's double the price, but 250 in reality is only the price of one night in a fancy hotel. So say you hostel it out for one night of your trip um, instead of uh, going to a fancy hotel. That pays for your bag right there. And that's, I may be fooling myself, I may be, um, you know, excessively rationalizing, but that makes sense to me. Um, you know, I'll just unpack these very, very quickly. Uh, first, I'll unpack this Mountain Hardware one. Okay, let's see how to do this. Okay, first I snap this. Okay, this all comes off. And also, in terms of temperature rating, even though the Ultra Lamina claims it's a 15 degree bag, from what I've read, and I haven't tested these in field in that kind of temperature range, but in actuality, it feels like the uh, Western Mountaineering is much more true to rating than this uh, Mountain Hardware one. So here's, a, here's the Mountain Hardware Ultra Lamina. This has an interesting design because uh, one side only goes down a quarter or yeah, two, one third of the way, and the other side goes down. This is actually new in the 2012 model. Um, the other side goes down three quarters now. Uh, it used to be in earlier models that both sides would only go down like a quarter to a third of the length. The idea was so you could sit up and read and like put your arms out, um, but many people found that to be 
more uh, idealistic rather than practical. And in actuality, what this kind of uh, quarter zipper style did was um, significantly decrease the breathability and the um, the flexibility of the bag in the sense that if you're using this in the summer, now you can only vent this much instead of more of the foot, which, uh, which is, I guess, key. Uh, the nice thing about this bag is it does have uh, a little zipper pocket up here. You can store your glasses or a little watch or whatever. Um, yeah, no complaints about this bag. This is probably the best synthetic bag you can get on the market. Um, now I'm just going to decompress this uh, Western Mountaineering bag. Um, so first I'll you know, release uh, this compression. Okay, and then how it works is this waterproof section here, you, uh, you unzip it and you roll it down three times, right? You, roll, you, um, you buckle it down three times. This really prevents any water from having any chance of getting in there whatsoever. Um, and then you just, you just buckle it up. And that's how it maintains its waterproofness. Um, just gonna unstuff it. As you can tell already, this is poofing up a bit. This is probably the, you know, and it's just a regular stuff sack, not compressed. This is probably the same size as the Ultra Lamina was, uh, fully, fully compressed. Just shows you a perspective of the size differential. Anyways, I'll pull this out. Wow. Just watch this bad boy just completely loft up. Um, so this is the Western Mountaineering Alpinite uh, Goose Down 850 fill, um, made in the USA, made in San Jose, California. Um, yeah, this one's going to be super comfortable in terms of usability because it's a, a wider girth. Um, yeah full-length zipper, and this is a non-snag zipper as well. Uh, this zipper will never snag because they uh, cleverly inserted a piece of nylon here that is not this fabric, but just a, almost a taped nylon uh, on both sides of this. And I've never had any issue with the zipper whatsoever. And it's a two-sided zipper, goes up and goes down. Actually. There we go. And this one will be able to zip up as well. So you can vent from, from both sides very easily. Um, this doesn't have that little pocket, but that's almost an extraneous feature. Uh, this has a very, very nice neck baffle, and this cinches up incredibly, uh, incredibly warmly as well. Um, yeah. So there you have it. These are the, the two bags. Um, you can tell this Western Mountaineering one is just lofting up. Uh, give it a few more minutes and it'll just be real, real poofy. It's a five inch loft and you can tell it's palpably higher than the synthetic one. Um, a lot more cozier sleep and yeah, just absolutely no complaints on this bag at all whatsoever. Um, so there you have it. There's uh, the best synthetic versus the best down sleeping bag. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it.